my channel for real i was on the vacation so i wasn't posting as much as possible but when i did get back i was so excited to open yet another bag that i received it's a bag i got from baba balugs it's one of my favorite uh, seller and it's a bag that i have asked for so many times to get it with different sellers it was never ever available and i've always wanted to get it and finally finally they have it made and i'm just so so excited to show you you've seen the thumbnail it is this chanel classic flap in the small size and in the denim blue color here you go i don't think it's translating properly it's kind of looking more like a turquoise blue or it's it's more of a grayish blue color color really i don't know why it's not translating properly maybe because we don't have much light in the room but it is just so so cute <laughs> so i've always wanted to get a denim blue bag whether it's the chanel classic flap or the birkin and i wanted it with the silver hardware and so they finally have it they always offered me oh we don't have a silver hardware we only have the gold hardware and i just think with the denim blue it just looks so much uh chic when it's the silver hardware and plus you know since it's a dupe bag you won't notice as much versus the gold tend to be more orange you'll be able to tell but versus the silver like it is just in this stunning stunning color and it's perfect for the color of the bag. If I find the photo of the authentic, I'll put it here so you kind of can see the difference. Um, but it's very hard to find the style. It's I never see anything like this for sale. I'm guessing it's either limited or a lot of people just don't sell it once they get it because it is such a hard color to come by the denim blue color is always a more sought after color just because it is a more of a casual color paired with a classic bag like this i think it makes the bag just so much more like usable you know it's not going to look so much fancy or uh, elegant where you can only wear it very limited on special occasions. So yeah, I love it. So I've been loving what I get from Baba Balogs because I did get a Chanel Trendy from them black. At first I didn't like it because it was a little slanted. I got over it, but what's really get me is how the leather becomes eventually soft. And this leather I can feel, although it's not like similar to Chanel lambskin, it's a very, 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 very soft leather. It feels so luxurious when I feel it. And I feel like once I aired it out, it's kind of like breathed more. It becomes so supple. Like my Chanel Trendy bag, it becomes so soft that I just decided to keep that bag. I really, really love that style. And so I think I wouldn't be hesitating to get more lambskin. Um, I never like the lambskin just because it's just a little bit more uh, like kelp skin. Feels a little bit more stiff than the original, of course. These are not authentic wine. But somehow the bags I get from Baba Balogs, they're a little bit more softer and more luxurious to the feel, which is why uh, I got another lambskin from them after the Chanel Trendy bag. It's so beautiful and the silver hardware is perfect to it and it gets the overall look of the handbag. There's the pocket. I think the only thing that would be noticeable about this bag is just the stitching is a little bit too thick. Um, if you look closely on the stitch, it shouldn't be this uh, noticeable on a handbag. Typically, this should be a little bit thinner and finer because you, know, you don't want that stitching to be noticeable, but I'm not mad, I'm not mad. I really love this bag. Oh gosh, it's so soft. I love touching it. Um, and the other thing I wanted to, to note is a lot of you guys always ask me, is there a chemical smell? Because real leather should not have any chemical smell, right? So I've asked all my sellers that I get my bags from and they all claim they're all leather, but I don't know. They still come with some chemical smell. This one, 
is actually have less of that chemical smell. I've smelled really horrible chemical smell. I don't know if it's because they use lower quality. Maybe the glue is what I can smell when they glue stuff. But supposedly all of the items, not really the one I get, because I always go for original or top grade or the highest quality leather. It's always been real leather. And this one feels like real leather, but if they do treat the leather to make it something else, maybe that's a chemical that smells, but they all claim they're all leather. And again, when I this one does not have that strong chemical smell that I normally smell from uh, all the items that I get. They usually go away anyway, but still, you know, um, I want real leather. That's the only thing. And um, they all claim they're all real leather. Let me show you inside. It's so beautiful, this flap. Look, this is really, really soft. And then, um, look at that. See, see that design is just beautiful. I love the pocket here. People ask me, oh, um, do you feel uncomfortable wearing a handbag or feel bad that my bag is fake? Honestly, uh, I don't really care what other people think. They're not paying my bills. They are not going to be getting me out of debt. You know, uh, they're not paying the bag. So if I would like to wear whatever, I'll wear whatever, especially uh, if it's a very expensive bag. I don't want to spend that money. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Like I go through so many bags just because I look for a certain kind of um, um, design as well as the quality, and I love just the design without paying the price. So there you go. I don't I don't like uh, paying very expensive bag. Then I get over it, and then I'm out several thousand of dollars. I made my mistakes and. The prior years, well, I, I'll buy due to hype and new trendy bags. I'll lose a thousand at least minimum from a handbag because when I resell it, horrible resale value. So I'm never making that mistake again. But uh, here we go. Beautiful, uh, beautiful inside. Um, I think it's well made. The leather is kind of flat, so it's just gorgeous overall. I love it. And so, yeah, just so, so, so stunning. I'm gonna show you mod shots of the bag. I would say the thing that they never get is this, this strap. It's always super long in my opinion. I'm guessing this is about an inch, minimum an inch longer than the original. So that kind of bugs me because I like my bags to be perfect and very close to the original. So I would say, it's always the chain strap that will be a giveaway on these bags. Sometimes also it's too puffy. This one seems to be great. Just the stitching is too uh, noticeable. So those are the things that may be a giveaway on the handbag. But again, I don't really care, right? <laughs> to me, it's smarter not to spend a lot of money on a bag. So I'll carry one if I wanted to. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, uh, Feel free to leave a comment down below. You may contact me at Instagram. I, yeah, and I'll respond to you accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Ciao for now.